of uh, Click Chat uh, where we used to have a guest. I have um, uh, two important guests in the studio. I want to talk about the uh, face of Guinea Loy. No, of course, these are actually people representing you know, that platform. All right, uh, let me welcome my guest um, that I have with me. Abash Nopowa, David. Mm -hmm. I think I got that. Yes. <laughs> All right, he is the face of Yolori King 2019 yes. and also Atola right? Yes. Uh, back of Jola Elizabeth, uh, she is the face of Yolori Queen 2019. And together, we're taking a look at the face of Yolori 2019 road to stardom. You welcome to the studio. Thank you. So All right. Much. Uh, let me start from you. Let me start from the king. <laughs> so, uh, what motivated you to go to uh, to actually go for this um, competition in the first place? Thank you very much for that question. Um, first of all, I say the will to work mm. and the will to put myself out there because I feel like I'm someone when I do something, I want to make sure a lot of people see it. Okay. So, like, I was, I knew this platform would help me get on that, put me out there, and then. Obviously, this school is not a small school, university. Mm -hmm. so like when a lot of people know you, when you do stuff, mm -hmm. it comes through easily. So, yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay, yeah, so, uh, my queen, what motivated you to move no, for this the same thing. I've always really, like, an opportunity to, like, be on the spotlight, limelight. Okay. I've wanted a reason to, like, reach out to people and be, like, accessible. So, I decided that, okay, it was time for me to, like, just do something like this. And my friends actually encouraged me to tell me I had to <laughs> So uh, how will you describe the competition? Is it actually very uh, testing? Let me first start from, is it testing? Very, but nothing good comes easy, actually. So okay. you have to work for it. Um, it's very yes. testing. Mm -hmm. It was worth it at the end. Okay. It was very yeah. testing. As a winner now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, going through all the stages, uh, where do you think your performance was better or otherwise? Let me start from no poor. OK, I'll see. The first voting category. <laughs> the first voting category. And then when mine was really bad was the second one. Because at, at that time everybody was everybody was tired. They mm. like they voted, they voted and <laughs> still the competition kept getting tougher. Mm. So they kept having to vote. So obviously not everybody's down for you. Mm. You you have to meet people, tell them to do this. So yeah. The last stage was really the hardest, so mm. then the first stage was my best. Okay, okay. You know, people have to actually vote for vote you. For so me, you yeah. have to convert a lot of people to actually do so, that yeah. for you. Okay, and you? <laughs> I would say my um, first stage, the Instagram voting, and then the online voting also, it was really hard. Okay. It was really, really hard, though, but I was able to like put in my all best and things. So I would mm. say I really worked hard for that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Checking through your Instagram page, you had like 4,000 followers. Yeah, and you actually have 2,000 followers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. More than laughs> <laughs> Alright, now uh, as a winner, uh, what impact has this actually brought uh, to you? Let me start from uh, my quick. I would say it has been a part of learning for me. I've learned a lot of things. Okay. I've experienced a lot of things. I've learned teamwork. And it has actually like brought up my growth more like I've, I've grown in too many aspects. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I'd say it has helped me to move proper because Obviously, you know there's a lot of people watching you, and mm -hmm. you know you have to do. There's there's places you could have been before, but now you can't go to those places. Mm. There's things you could have been seen doing before you can't do those things. So yeah, face of the learning has done that for me. Okay, so uh, after winning now, what is your is, uh, your assignment? Let me start from you. Back to being me, back to working. Okay. Being a positive role model to everybody that's watching, and yeah, getting the better part of me. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, what is your assignment actually? Because well, let me say the brand assignment, the brand you actually carry. What mm -hmm. is your assignment? Okay, you know, I'm sure you're hearing about our like team every year. We have different things we're working on, okay. and mostly talk about societal problems. I plan to look into them and actually like find at least possible and solutions to them. Mm -hmm. And I actually plan to make myself as accessible as possible to people out there, especially the students, because you know, have like a face to like. Yeah. Yes, like <laughs> everyone you know, learning. So I like I plan to like be there for everybody that needs me like emotionally, financially financially and in every way possible. Mm -hmm. And then actually plan to work for the brand to make the brand like bigger okay. with the help of like my other realities. Okay, okay. Now so uh, let me ask you to I think she actually pinpoint her plans, you know, yeah. you know, after dropping. Oh okay, now I've not asked that. But let me ask you now. Uh, what are your future plans after dropping this title? 
Well, after dropping this title, first of all, it's the a year. Yeah, it's a year. That's okay. what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> the, this period is going to be very, very hitting. But I mean, right now, my inst my inst our Instagrams <laughs> have really been going. They've okay. been buzzing. So, like, <laughs> after this, obviously, mm. it's not going to stop growing. Okay. People still keep on watching us. So, yeah, we we'll just uh -huh. use that platform to keep on making ourselves better. Okay. And, yeah, okay. that's still the same process. Okay. So, um, Queen Elizabeth. Mm. <laughs> that's a great name. <laughs> so, uh, what are your future plans after dropping this title? Mm, I don't plan to stop when okay. I drop the crown. I've always wanted to be a model, so I plan to like actually work towards it and like strive better. And I have a business, okay. So I plan to like work for that and make okay. it very big. Okay, okay. So, how do you think you can actually solve um, depression um, and also suicide in the society? How can we solve that? From your own view, how do you think you can solve depression mm. and suicide? You know, you know, you know, there's a lot of stigma that comes with depression and suicide. Yeah, okay. And to be very honest, I feel sometimes it takes a lot to actually identify people that are depressed. And sometimes <laughs> they're like right here beside us, and they can't even notice. So I'll say identifying and supporting them, creating awareness, like a lot of awareness, it could be through social media, okay. and then rally campaigns. Mm. 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 I feel like you're going to like reach a lot of people. Okay, so uh, David, King yes. David, King Queen David Elizabeth. David. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, so, how do you think we can actually solve uh, depression and uh, suicide in the society? Yeah, like you said, awareness. Because, mm -hmm. first of all, this platform has given us, it's like a medium that has put us out there. So, mm -hmm. what people, like I said, people are watching us. Yeah. So, easily, when we say this, like the whole process, like you said, we have topics across the years. There's suicide. There's, so, this year was depression and suicide. So. With this, we've been able to reach out to people. And now, Blissfire Foundation is starting, mm -hmm. and with the help of this, we plan on organizing walks and other seminars to help people okay. fighting the pressure. Uh, what about uh, collaborating with the uh, Tata Performing Arts Department of University of Norway to actually stage some dramas, mm -hmm. you know, on uh, uh, the depression and suicide? Would that be, would, would that be great? Yeah, it's actually a Oh, That's it. Like, <laughs> we have someone from oh, oh, okay. All right, uh, thank you very much. I have been speaking with um, Abash Lopoa, mm -hmm. uh, King David. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Of course, he is the face of you know, King 2019 and also Atola Makajola, Queen of Elizabeth. <laughs> And she is the face of Inglory Queen 2019. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, cool. yeah, all right, uh, that is uh, all for the live chat segment on the program. I'll be coming in with my own queen. Uh, uh, probably my own is King Joseph, not King David. <laughs> so that we can wrap up the show. All right, stay tuned. <laughs>